Hey guys, this is Henry, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a website using Adobe Fireworks and Adobe Dreamweaver CS6. In the previous tutorial, part one, we learned how to design our website in Fireworks. Today we're going to be bringing it over to Dreamweaver. Now, the first thing we're going to do is site, create a new site, and I'm going to call it my my uh, I'm going to call it tutorial website. Or I'll just call it Henry 8 website. I'll just call it my site, okay? I don't know. I'll call it my site. It doesn't really matter what you call it. That's just for your purposes. That won't show up anywhere. And now you need to browse for a folder where you're getting your images from. You should browse for the folder that you saved your images and that you saved fireworks to in the previous tutorial. That's my website for me. I'm going to select it. I'm going to click save. And now I have this right here. When I look in my... Okay, let me go back a little. When I look under my site over here in local file images I have my images and then outside of my images I have this document and that will be this the my previous website that that will be right here so and as you can see like I said you're able to type in this box here and now what we want to do is if we click F12 right now this is going to be at the side and we want this to be centered on the internet so I'm gonna insert a new dev tag and I'm gonna insert and actually I'm gonna I'm gonna control a select all this then I'm gonna insert a dev tag and I'm gonna select insert wraparound selection and for ID you can call this whatever you want I'm gonna call it wrapper and then you click create new CSS rule and I'm gonna I'm gonna change it to a tag redefines an HTML element and you're gonna set this sector name to ta table and I'm gonna set it to this document only you can select you can change it to new style sheet file if you want. I'm just going to make it this document only. Click OK. And it should bring up this CSS rule definition for table. And that didn't show up on the screen because I have two monitors here. But for you, unless you have two monitors, it should show up on this screen here. And uh, I'm going to go to box settings and I'm going to change and I'm going to uncheck same for all and margins. I'm going to set the right to auto and the left to auto. Click apply. Click OK. So now it should be centered. And you're going to save changes. And now, now it should be centered like this. OK. And now that it's centered like this, we are going to we're going to save this as a template. I'm not going to I'm just going to save it as my website template. You can save it as whatever you want. And click save. Update links. Yes. So now I've got that. Now I'm going to go back to my website template.html. And I'm actually just going to. Ah, oh, okay. My thing, Dreamweaver, stop working. Luckily, I save. Saving is always good. Let me just bring it back up here. See, we still have our template right here. Important to save. Now you know why. 
Ayan. This, my website template, I can actually just go. I don't really need it anymore. I should have named it better. I mean, let's see. If we're so we're just gonna go back, close this. And we're actually gonna we're actually gonna make this an editable region. It um insert let's see here. Well, I, I think this should be fine. Well, okay. So, insert. Let's just see. What did Tom? Sorry, I should know this, but let me just check real quick. Okay, so insert. Template objects editable region and I'm gonna name this edit and you can name this whatever you want I'm just gonna name this tack tack box and click OK so now this should be an editable region. Save this. Now I'm going to close it. And inside the my site local files, I'm going to create a new HTML. And I'm going to save this as tutorials. HTML. And now, when I click on that tutorials link, this, whatever I type here, will come up automatically. So I'm just going to put uh, tutorials for now. Like that. Save it. And now I'm going to make a new HTML file I'm gonna save this as reviews.html so really what I'm creating now is what one remember how I linked my different buttons I linked one to reviews.html so when I click on that it will take th my editable region when I a little later this is what's it will show this it will show this when I click on that link so now here I'm gonna put reviews now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a template let me see here how do I do this Uh, I should know where this is, but I forgot, so. Okay. Modify templates, apply template to page. Now I'm going to select the My Website template. I'm going to select the document body. And I'm going to select text box for move contact to new region. Click OK. So now it shows up in there.
I'm going to save this. And now I'm going to go to my tutorials and I'm modify templates. Apply template to page. I'm going to do the same thing. Select that template. Just like that. Then I'm going to close both of these. I'm going to go back to this template. I'm just going to publish this in the web browser. And see when I click on these buttons, it changes the text in here. Nice and simple. Oops, I accidentally closed Dreamweaver. Thanks for watching. I think this is the end of our tutorial. You now I'm not going to cover in this tutorial how to actually publish this to the web. It is an HTML, so it should be fairly easy to publish to the web. Um depend you can publish it basically anywhere. I mean, you could publish to a free web page publishing site whatever. But thanks thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.